Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. So today I am doing this half cut crease uh, grungy, um, what do you call this? I don't even know what I'm going to call it. But this is the makeup that I did come up with. Um, I really love this heart, heart. I really love this half cut crease makeup look. It's so cool and it's also very wearable for um, an event or any occasion that you're going for. Also, um, this hairstyle is the four Conros that I've been using for a few times in this week. Um, I have a beauty studio in Durban, so if you are in the Durban area and you would like to get your hairstyle and makeup on fleek, then pay me a visit because that's what I do. And uh, yeah, I haven't really put that up on my channel, so I think this is the first time that you guys, some of you uh, know about it. But if you follow me on social media, then you probably do already know that I'm a makeup artist and also a hairstylist. So yeah, that is it for the introduction. And if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, to start off the look, I'm using my Alley Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. And this is in the color tan. I really love the coverage of this foundation. And I feel like Alley Girl is really, really doing a great job with their products. Using this brown shade from my highlight and contour circle from Crayolan, I am going to carve out my cheekbones, nose, my forehead and do my usual contouring technique. And then going in and blending everything out using my rose gold oval brush. Going back to that Creolin highlight and contour circle, I'm going to use a skin color and highlighting my face with Using a lighter concealer, I'm going to highlight um, my nose and everywhere else that I did highlight just to give a brighter effect. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl High Definition Pro Powder and this is the white translucent one and going in again to dust away all of the fallout and excess powder with a bigger oval brush. Setting my contoured areas with my Yardley Oatmeal Powder in the color Mocha. Using the Skin Color Concealer, I'm going to uh, use a flat oval brush and this is going to be applied on either side of my nose. Um, the contoured part of my nose and this is just going to allow the contour to stand out and allow my nose to look a lot more smaller and then blending that up.
picking up this bronzy color I'm going to apply this with a big fluffy brush all over the outer V of my eye and blending it into the crease Using this brown shade and a smaller blending brush, I'm going to smoke out the edge of my eye and this is going to create some depth. I don't want to blend too high because I want my transition shade to also stand out but I am going to blend the two colors together in. I'm packing more of the brown shade onto the outer part of my eyelid and when I'm happy with the colors then I'm going to move on to my second eye and do the exact same thing. Using my Ale Girl Pro Concealer and this is the color Yellow Corrector. I'm using this as a eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base and I always use a light concealer when I am doing something very pigmented or I want my eyeshadow to stand out um, I go in with a very light concealer on my eyelid and I feel like this works perfectly especially with glitter and all of that stuff so I'm going to carve out my half cut crease with this concealer Using that champagne color and packing this all over my eyelid uh, and just applying it to the area that I have concealed and created the half cut crease. Using my blending brush I'm going to blend out the half cut crease and the smoky outer edge and to give it a more softer look. Then going in and using the same colors that I did for the top eyelid, I'm going to apply that to, to the bottom lash line. Then going in and doing my traditional winged eyeliner and I'm using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. Then coating my natural eyelashes with some mascara and then going in and applying some fake lashes and that's by Eyler Lengthening Lashes. For lips I'm using the Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Gloss and this is in the color Beauty Approved. I love how beautiful and this color is and how long lasting it actually is. It does not dry the lips and I love the smell of it as well. Lastly, going in and adding some blush to my cheeks and I'm using my MAC Satin Blush and this is the color Fuji. So this is the final result you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you. Bye.